Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are talking about humic acids and fulvic acids. I think it's quite an interesting topic. Some people think they, these are something that is used only in agriculture to improve the harvest, to improve the soil, but in reality they also act on our health. So, let's figure out what are the effects of humic acids on human body. So, humic acids are produced by a bacteria by processing the dead plants in the soil. They can catalyze the reactions, the chemical reactions, uh, increasing them, accelerating them. They really can improve their harvest, they improve the leaves, their roots and uh, photosynthesis by plants. This is the Russian PhD work uh, where they studied humic acids. Uh, we know that they have their detoxifying effects, they can have anti-inflammatory, antibacterial effects and antioxidant and also they were used uh, in as a sorbents to remove some toxic things from guts. And according to this uh, work, they are not toxic, they uh, can protect liver, they have detox effect, anti-diabetic effect, they improve the wound, wound healing, they have some adaptogenic effect, protect stomach from ulcers if aggressive substances are added, and protect cellular membranes. There were six different experiments on animals uh, where they were given different toxic dosages of medicines or other toxic substances that will cause the toxicity to neural system and even death of the animals or toxicity to liver. And in these experiments they really protected liver. There was no such increase of ALT and AST in biochemical blood test. The liver detoxifying properties were increased very much and also antioxidant effect protected cells not only of liver but all, also of other organs. And adding uh, humic acids uh, to animals uh, getting, for example, clozapine, the neuroleptic, improved the survival of animals two times. Anti-inflammatory and anti-allergic properties of humic acids. Here they talk about the antioxidant properties, that means uh, these uh, acids, they protect our cells from free radicals. Free radicals can cause damage to cell membranes, to DNA, cause mutations, uh, cause uh, tumors or other chronic diseases like, for example, diabetes or atherosclerosis. That's why it's important to neutralize them. In one randomized double-blind control trial, uh, it helped on uh, humans with uh, eczema, with allergy, it helped uh, to decrease the redness of the skin with minimal or no side effects and it's compared to placebo. One more uh, phase 1 clinical trial on humans showed that they cause their anti-inflammatory properties without any toxic effects if taken orally. Topical cream increases wood healing. This is on animals. And really humic substances can uh, decrease allergies can decrease grass, uh, graft versus host reaction in those who get, for example, organ transplants, but it was proved uh, in rats for now. They reduce C-reactive protein, meaning C-reactive protein is the indicator of inflammation in the body, and this is proved in patients uh, suffering from inflammation of their joints, osteoarthritis. Also, it can decrease the flare of hay fever uh, in people. The experiment on rats showed that uh, if we give them substance to induce the edema of their poor, then fulvic acid can really help with that edema. And also their infected wounds with uh, staphylococcus uh, will be healed faster if we use humic acids. And there was no teratogenicity, meaning pregnant mice I didn't have any problems with their pregnancy or with their babies. How do they work on immunity? Well, there is the double effect. From one side, we already talked about anti-inflammatory properties. 
from the other side, it can be pro-inflammatory, meaning it can increase the function of our immune cells and it can increase the production of antibodies. Here they describe the logical ways of how humic acids may help with you know, fulvic acids, may help with uh, chronic inflammation and diabetes. And uh, we know that gut health microbiome is uh, connected directly to our immunity. And we know it can affect microflora, it can increase the um, absorption of substances from food, not only substances but also heavy metals, we'll talk about it a little bit later, and it can help to protect stomach. Here you can see that it can be pro-inflammatory uh, if we want to improve our protection against something, some uh, foreign invaders from microorganisms and enhances the antibody formation. This is the study on uh, humans, the volunteers, and we see that they did not bring any dysbiosis into flora, but it increases their number of bacteria. Maybe quite uh, good for patients, for example, who have constipation to increase the bulk of feces. Next very important topic are fungal infections. This is candida and we know that they can damage the cells of the fungi. And what is very important, the resistance mechani mechanisms that fungi use against our drugs, antifungal drugs, is no, are not working here. So fulvic acid can overcome this resistance. By the way, they also directly compared different antifungal drugs and fulvic acid and they came to the conclusion that even uh, caspofungine was uh, more effective, I mean it killed more fungi, but fulvic acid were doing this more quickly. Uh, that is very important if the patient, for example, is in a severe condition with low immunity and there is a sepsis and uh, fungi are already everywhere in blood, we need a fast effect to save the life. But it's potential, it's not yet uh, checked on humans. And Biofilms. Biofilms are very important. Bacteria can make biofilms. This is the way they organize themselves. They grow to protect themselves from being washed out from different antiseptics, antibiotics. And uh, we take antibiotics and bacteria are still there. We cannot do anything with that. And the same can do fungi. And these fungi, when they make biofilms, they are resistant to our antifungal drugs. And here we see that uh, fulvic acids and humic acids can really help to destroy these biofilms. That is very interesting and very important. But still, we need more investigations. Next, this is the other PhD work uh, about how they use humic acids to decontaminate different industrial weights or water. It's not about the body. Why is it happening? Because uh, humic acids and fulvic acid they can help to make the complexes. Uh, they, for example, this is copper. They make a cage around the copper and uh, in such a way the copper will be absorbed very well. You remember I told you that they can help to absorb substances. For example, if you take them with food. But if you take them not with food, for example, they can make complexes in the body and this can potentially help to remove copper, too much iron, mercury, different uh, radioactive substances, uh, heavy metals from the body. That's why it can also be used as a detoxifying remedy. For example, in this experiment they took almost 200 hands and uh, there were four groups. Some of them were getting usual food, in others the lead was added to the food, in uh, the third group the humic acids were added into food, in the fourth group both lead and humic acids were added. They observed that if uh, lead was added, it damaged thyroid gland, it caused the death of the cells, it caused the scar tissue formation, it caused, of course, it caused, of course, TSH increase, meaning that there are not enough hormones already, not enough T3, T4, and body will increase TSH to stimulate or stimulate what is remaining of suffering thyroid. Afterwards, if they do this experiment for a longer time, uh, T3 and T4 will also drop. And they saw that if they add humic acids, it would protect thyroid gland, 
uh, and uh, save the levels of hormones and save the follicles, the cells of thyroid, from dying. Other potential field of use is uh, ne neurodegenerative uh, diseases uh, like Alzheimer's disease. You can see different uh, proteins accumulating in inside the cells and outside the cells. And we know that there is tau protein that makes tangles uh, of uh, pathological tangles of protein and uh, they will be accumulated in the brain causing dysfunction of neurons, causing the, their death and uh, causing their symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. And of course, they saw that fulvic acid could not only prevent formation of these tangles, but also to uh, degrade, disintegrate these uh, proteins. That is also very interesting. Now, anti-cancer activity proved only on cancer cells, on several types, most effective against uh, liver tumors, less effective against pancreatic tumors, but for now we cannot say anything because it's just on the cells. We need to check it on animals and of course on humans. One more, protection of kidneys. They stopped blood flow to kidneys in uh, animals, in rats. Uh, this uh, caused the death of kidney cells, but if uh, the humic acids and fulvic acids were added, uh, the cells were not dying or not dying as fast. That means it protects organs from uh, low oxygen also, not only from toxins. According to the first article I showed to you, uh, they are not very toxic, they don't damage any organ specifically, they, don't, um, they are not uh, teratogenic, not dangerous for embryos, but it's proven only on animals, not advised for pregnant women, just in case. If you put it on the skin, it can cause some ir mild irritation and they don't have cumulative effect. You can see the safe doses, daily doses for humans. If you decide to take any supplements, check the quality, check the source. They must be checked in laboratories for uh, any toxic additional substances or heavy metals. And what are the potential effects? Again, let's do the conclusions. Helating and detox effects, meaning uh, they can carry something somewhere, especially metals. Protection of liver, kidneys and other organs of stomach. Fighting intoxication. Anti-inflammatory, anti-allergic effects. Uh, wound healing. Impact on immunity and microflora, microbiome. Against microorganisms, even resistant microorganisms on biofilms. Some anti-tumor activity still needs to be investigated more and some adaptogenic effect. Dear friends, I hope it was interesting and useful for you. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Goodbye. Don't be afraid, doctor.